Tonight's story is called Why I Sneeze, Shiver, Hiccup and Yawn. You are playing hide and seek and you have found a good place. You want to be as quiet as you can and all of a sudden, choo, you sneeze. Everyone knows where you are. Why do you sneeze even when you don't want to? You're eating lunch with your friends. You're in the middle of telling them a story and all at once you hiccup. Your friends start to laugh. You try to stop, but you can't. Why do you hiccup even when you don't want to? A sneeze is a reflex and so is a hiccup. You don't need to have to think about making reflexes happen. They happen whether you want them to or not. They happen very fast and it is hard to stop them. Shivering and yawning are also reflexes. All reflexes work through your nervous system. Your nervous system is made up of two parts. One part is the nerves. The nerves look long, like long, thin threads. They reach all over your body. The other part is the spinal cord and the brain. The spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves that's inside your spine or your backbone. The spine is at the upper end of the sp- the brain is at the upper end of the spinal cord. It's made up of billions of tiny nerves. Nerves are like telephone wires that they carry messages back and forth. The brain and the spinal cord are like the main office of the telephone company and all the messages must go through there. Suppose you put your finger on the hot stove. The nerves in your hand sense that the stove is hot and they send out a message. The message speeds along the nerves from your hand to your spinal cord and here the message passes to a different nerve. This nerve controls the muscles that move your arm. A signal flashes through the nerve and it tells your muscles to move your hand and move your hand fast. Before you even know what hurts your hand, it projects away from the stove. Pulling your hand off a hot stove is a reflex and it happens very quickly. It is not completely under your control. It happens automatically without you having to think about making it happen. Be careful, Max. You'll burn yourself too. A sneeze is also a reflex. You can't stop it even when you want to be extra quiet during a game of hide and seek. A bit of dust or dirt gets into your nose and the nerves sense that something is there and it's not supposed to be. They shoot a message to the brain. The brain sends a message to the spinal cord. How did you find her? I looked everywhere. She sneezed. That closet sure is dusty. In the spinal cord, the message passes to other nerves that go up to your diaphragm and belly muscles. The muscles contract and cause your lungs to send up a blast of air. Ka-choo, you sneeze. The sneeze blows the dust or dirt out of your nose. No one knows exactly why hiccups happen. We do know how they work. A message races to your spinal cord and from there a nerve sends out a signal that makes you take a big gulp of air. At that moment your throat closes and the air bumps against your closed throat. It makes a sound. Hick! It's a hiccup. The sound gives the hiccup its name. The hiccup is a reflex. A drink of water may help take make the hiccups go away. A shiver is a reflex, just like sneezing, and a hiccup. If you step out of a warm bath and into a cool room, the nerves in your skin feel that it is cold in the room and they carry the message to the nerves in your spinal cord. From the spinal cord, the message races through other nerves all over your body. Muscles quickly tighten and loosen and tighten and loosen and you are shivering. The moving muscles produce heat. The shivers warm you up. Mom, I'm freezing. Have you ever tried to hold back a yawn? It's very hard to do. A yawn is another reflex. A yawn begins when the lungs have have two little oxygen in them. 
Nerves signal the muscles around you, your jaw to pull apart. You yawn, and as you do, you take an extra deep breath of air. The more oxygen in your lungs, the less the less you feel less sleepy. A reflex can you can see happens in your eyes. Go to a bright room, and after a few minutes, look in a mirror. The part of your eye that is the pupil will be small. Then close your eyes for a few minutes and look in the mirror again. Your pupils will be big and round. If you wait a few minutes with your eyes open in the same room, you will notice that your pupils have gotten small again. A reflex makes your pupils in your eyes grow larger when there's too little light. This lets more light into your eyes. A reflex also makes your pupils grow smaller in bright light. Doctors sometimes test reflexes. Have you ever had the test? You sit on a table with your legs hanging down and the doctor taps just below your knee. The tool that is used looks like a hammer with a rubber head. Suddenly you kick your leg up. This is a reflex. It is sometimes called the patella reflex or the knee jerk. A strong patella reflex is usually a sign of a healthy nervous system. There is another reflex that you can test for yourself. Take off a sock and a shoe and ask a friend to gently scratch the bottom of your foot with a toothpick or scratch you from heel. The scratch should go from heel to your big toe. Watch your toes slowly bend down. This is called the plantar reflex. It probably helps people walk on rough ground or climb trees barefooted. And it tickles. You have dozens of different reflexes. They protect your nose and throat from dust and dirt. You, they can keep you from burning yourself on the hot stove and they can warm you up when you feel cold. Think of that the next time you sneeze or when you don't want to or when you hiccup or shiver or yawn. Find out more about your nervous system by reading other books. Good night, everybody.